Steve, finally, here we are yes. <laughs> on, the, on the channel. But what a fantastic day, a fantastic victory. 2-0 to the Saints in the sunshine on the bank holiday. What's your verdict? Yeah, obviously delighted with three points. Um, I thought we were pretty abject first half, to be honest, especially against, uh, against 10 men once they had the man sent off. Um, I mean, we managed the impressive feat of making it look like we were the ones down to 10. Um, but second half, clearly had a bit of a bit of a talking to at half time got themselves organized and we were just we just looked so so much so much more composed and sort of in control second half and just pick pick them off on the break i mean you know they go down to 10 men at, at about half an hour i mean and what did you see of the, of the red card firstly uh, to be honest i was looking away but it was andonia that walks um didn't couldn't really see an awful lot from 70 80 yards away um but i've seen a video back of it and it's oh, it's horrible um, I mean, it's, it's one of those ones where the FA might even look at it and say that's going to be more than a three game ban for the way that he's gone in because he's actually turned his body um, away. So he's not looking at the guy and stuck his shit, stuck his studs in into the guy's knee. Um, and I mean, for him to try and claim that he's got the ball there, it's like, no, nah, you're, you're about a foot away from that, mate. Um, so, yeah, I don't, I don't think you can really have any complaints. I mean, the, the Brighton fans booing the referee off at the end. I mean, it's a little bit pantomime, isn't it? But Go into the break, one man up, come out, five minutes in, Gineppo with his almost his first touch, cuts on his right foot, top bins, goal of the month contender? Yeah, potentially, yeah, it was a great finish. Um, I mean, I was, I was concerned when, when we made that substitution about a minute earlier, uh, taking Valerie off, and I thought, well, we've got no right back now, we've got no full backs at all now. And um, bringing Gineppo on for that... Um, in that situation at nil-nil when the game was finally poised it was a bit of a risk but ultimately it's paid off and oh, it was a fantastic finish and he was he was superb for pretty much the whole what half half hour 40 minutes he was on the pitch and you know we were just saying there Buffal, Redmond, Gineppo all on the pitch all working for that second goal all luxury players can we afford them all on the pitch in the next game um well I mean in, Play them against Fulham. That would be that be one hell of an entertaining game. The way they're they're playing at the moment, um, I think realistically, you're prob it's probably unlikely. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it it'll be it'll be worth a try. Worth worth a sort of look in training to see how see how they work as a, as a three. But I think we've we've got enough sort of actual attacking sort of central attacking players that I think you're gonna you're gonna annoy and piss off a lot of people if you're not playing at least one of them. But three points are all that matters. We're on the board. Yeah, definitely. Um, off and running. And when you looked at the fixtures, this was always the the one that you would have thought, OK, this is the one where we've got to get up and running if we don't get anything from the others. Um, that's given us that cushion now. We're, we're not sort of worrying where our first point's coming from or anything like that. Um, so, yeah, we've got obviously United coming coming down next week. They've they've been hilariously done in the last minute at home, the Palace. So, they're... They're nothing special. We're, if we if we play like we did against Liverpool, we'll we'll give them a good game. We've got a chance of winning that. Great stuff. Cheers, Steve. No worries.